What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And I'm your host, Charlotte, and today I'm going to show you the Hello Beautiful Chalk Bundle and a tutorial on how to use it. So I have created this lovely typography right here. Do what you love. Um, emphasizing the words do you, which is pretty popular. You know, you just tell people like, Hey, what's up? What you doing? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> okay, that was a really, really poor example. But it is a very popular saying, so I wanted to create some typography with it. So I'm going to show you how I did this. But first, um, let's go ahead and look at what's inside the packet. So here is the folder. And you can see all of the lovely examples here. You're gonna get 20 dynamic chalkboard brushes that you can write with and draw with and make all kinds of typography. They're not stamps. They actually write. So it's the same as if you were writing on a chalkboard in real life, okay? Then you get the 40 chalkboard styles, which I think that there's a little bit more than 40. I went a little bit overboard. And then you get 56 chalkboards that you can use to create awesome creative goodness with. So to load the styles and the brushes, you're just going to double click on them, okay? And double clicking on them will bring you right back into Photoshop. So. I have already opened up a chalkboard and I've already typed out some messages here. So what you're going to want to do is you can use whatever character. Um, because chalk is a little bit spaced out, I've changed the, the space in between the letters a, a little bit to 75 and I'm using the font baseline. Now these are all the styles and I wanted to show you um, something really quickly. Let me show you all the styles first. I'm going to clear that layer style. So this is um, black and this is white type. So some of the um, styles will be different if you have white type and some of the styles will be different if you have black type. Now only, some, only a couple are affected with white. So I'm going to select the, the black chalk and you can see let me turn off this one so it doesn't interfere with your visualization. Okay, so these are some of the styles that you get here. Wait, I have to select it to affect it. Hello, Charlotte. Okay, and that's pretty cool. I think that one is for the, the black one. And these are just the, the basic chalk. So. And these are the fun ones. You can make some pretty cool flyers with these. Now, here's the thing. If the styles don't match up with your text, it's very simple to fix. You're going to click the FX button, go to Pattern Overlay. Sometimes just clicking Snap to Origin will fix it like that. Or you can alternatively set the size to 25, 50, or 100. And then just click Snap to Origin. And you can also move them around. So I kind of like that effect. If you want to, you can save it out as a new style if you're going to be using that, you know, periodically. But we won't be using that. So I'm just clicking on these to show you them.
This one, I'm going to do that again. Pattern overlay, snap to origin. I think this one would look better at 50. Yeah. And ultimately, you can change the, the blackboards. Now, this blackboard is a little light for some of these um, textures. So I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm going to show you the black one. Where is that? Where did it go? Okay, sorry, I paused the video for a minute so I could open a new board so I could show you um, some what some of these look like on the, the black, the darker board. It looks a little bit better. Um, let me go ahead and change the sizing here. Let's do 50. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, wrong area. <laughs> I selected the wrong thingy. <laughs> okay, there we go. And as you can see, with a darker background, some of the styles pop a little bit more. As you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and change this to white so you can see some other styles like that one and that one so that's pretty cool so enough with the styles I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away and I'm gonna do the tutorial so the tutorial is pretty simple and I'm just gonna do the words do I'm gonna make it a little bigger I just typed out the word do with the baseline and it's 291 points um, and you see this thing right here the tracking you're gonna set it to 50 Okay, and I'm going to just make my type white so you can, whoops, whoopsie daisy, so you can see it. All right, but we, it doesn't necessarily matter. So you're going to raster, you're going to make a duplicate of this layer, okay? and you're gonna turn off that layer, you're gonna rasterize the type, okay? You're gonna control click on it inside the layer, okay? And then create a new layer, and then turn off this layer. Then you're going to grab your brush tool, and you're gonna select a chalk brush that you wanna use. And what you will do to get the same effect that I did, you're going to select a, a color. You can select whatever color you want, but I'm going to use white. And you're just going to draw diagonally. That's how I did it. And it doesn't matter where you scribble. And I do apologize. I'm having a hard time drawing diagonally because I have this huge microphone on my desk. And it's like in front of my Wacom tablet. And pretty much that's all you do, okay? Then you're gonna press Control D to deselect. Then to give it a more grungier effect, you can go to Filter, um, Noise, Add Noise. And you can select I would say about two, four, nine, and then go filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. And that will give it a really grungy chalk effect, like in my example. And that's how you use the brushes on the type. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna create a new layer 
and I'm just going to show you some of the brushes. So this is the first brush. And as you can see, it's very chalky. And it writes really, really well. I'm going to throw that layer in the trash. And we're just going to go through and so you can see some of these brushes. And this is like a detailing brush. So it's a very thin brush. So you can write stuff with it. But overall, it is um, a pretty healthy chalk brush. And this one is really nice. This is one of my favorite ones. So you can draw. We can be really smart. E equals MC square. Oh, we're so smart. Let's draw some glasses. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. But this is a really cool looking brush. It's very white, bright chalk. Okay. Whoops. Did I just draw over my sh Okay. Whatever. We can just create a new one. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, so let's select the next brush. This one is pretty grainy. Um, I like this one. This one would be really good for drawing with the type or making shapes if you want to make um, whatever. And that's the one I used for the type. This, this one's pretty cool. It, this one is cool because it starts to like grow as you draw with the chalk. It's like super realistic. So it kind of like flows with you. So, my name. You see it moving? It's so freaking cool. And you can lower the point size. I mean, if these brushes are too large for you. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. This one's really cool. <laughs> you know what this kind of looks like? My friend was watching me like make these and I'm sorry, I'm going to be inappropriate really quickly, but they look like cocaine lines. <laughs> Trust me, I'm drug free, but it, I just thought that was funny that she said that. And these, so... Chalk. Lots of chalk. That one's pretty grainy. Grainy, grainy. I'm just trying to go through the rest of this quickly because we are almost out of time. I skipped one. But you will just have to trust me that all of these chalks are gorgeous. I mean, this one is a blending one. So you can blend other chalks together. So let's say if you have a pink chalk. And a purple chalk. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. What? Purple chalk. So basically you'll have to select the blend and then select that brush. And then you can see 
how it blends the color, the chalky colors together. So, um, there's more chalk here and more chalk, a lot of chalk, as you can see. This one is nice too. So if you wanted to do typography or if you wanted to make art, um, you know, I'm just making a little cat here. You can do all kinds of cool things with this set. Um, you know, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want notifications, um, please hit the subscribe button and then also hit the bell. I know there's so many things <laughs> you have to do to keep up to date with the channel. Also, if you sign up for my VIP list, you get exclusive freebies and discounts. Thank you so much for watching. This is Photo Hack Lovers signing out. Have a great day, guys.